everybody, and welcome back once again to Let's Play Pillars of Eternity 2. And here we are, outside the market, having just picked up Jyoti in the last session. And we are now ready to head out to Gerechi Street for a bit of public order duty. But before we do, just a quick rundown of what I've done off camera, because uh, Fedora's been a little busy bee, kind of. But first of all, we'll start by looking at our new addition, our priest, Jyoti. Now, in fitting with our theme of trying things a little bit different here in this game, you know, a couple of multi-class characters and having, say, a two-handed tank, which is new to me, having a sword and shield priest is also quite new to me. And therefore, that's what we're going to be doing with Jyoti. Forget having her at the back slinging spells and firing off guns or using bows or whatever. Let's have her in the heart of the fight, whilst casting her healing and buffing and stuff. Different? Could be fun. Could be a nightmare, but we're going to try it. She comes with a, a, a scythe, which is classed as a hatchet, I believe, and a lantern, which is classed as a shield. So the game is already telling us this is the way to go with this, with this woman. So we'll, we'll oblige. So in terms of the spells that we have given her on her level ups, we've given her Interdiction, which is a way to weaken the enemy, making them dazed, which lowers their might and penetration. And we've gone for Holy Meditation, a friendly buff which makes us more resolute, which is good because it makes us much more harder to interrupt, which allows us to keep that DPS up. We've also reinforced that she's going to be a sword and shield type priest by giving her weapon and shield style. She came with a few spells already and stuff. Holy Radiance, as per the first game, healing and burning vessels. Blessed Harvest, which is a really nice uh, ability, it looks like, for finishing off the enemy, does a large amount of slashing damage when the enemy is blooded or near death. Potentially great for bosses, I think, here. This is a very good spell, it looks like, or ability. And then she's got Withdraw as well, which puts the uh, friendly targets into a protective bubble whilst healing them. A great way to keep them up, save them from death's door. An emergency type thing. So, uh, yeah, it's going to be quite fun giving her a try as a sort of sword and shield type priest. <laughs> she comes with uh, the lantern. Which does, uh, allows her to engage extra enemies and something to do with power levels and inspiration levels plus two. I'm not quite sure what that means. Um, she doesn't need monk resource points though because of course she's a priest and not a monk or a, or a hybrid she actually wears medium armor which is not great for her recovery time we might have to look into this and maybe replace this out with something with a bit less recovery penalty and she comes with this sickle which stacks extra damage on, on killing the enemy and increases with religion skill so you know that religion skill being increased is very very useful and she's going to be a master of the arcane. The arcana skill raises the power level of scrolls and the scrolls which she will be using, healing scrolls. With a high level of arcana, those healing scrolls will deal a very large amount of healing, far more than her individual healing uh, spells. And so uh, that will be her priority getting those scrolls as many as possible, buying them where we see them, crafting them where we can, and using her great arcana knowledge to do large, large amounts of healing, which will be no doubt invaluable in those tougher fights. So that's Jyoti. If you'd noticed whilst we were looking there, the, uh, the old coin purses just shrunk a little bit. Fedoran likes to spend money, if you remember from the first game. Doesn't like to sit around with money burning a hole in his pocket and so he's actually spent some of it on what you cry out well he couldn't resist he purchased the battle war on grimoire that he saw at portside and he's purchased the stone strange tablet doesn't know what it does it may come in useful he feels and if it doesn't it'll make a nice ornament for the ship because he's got new grimoires and new spells, <coughs> excuse me, my voice is breaking. It means that he's had to respec, because it's no point of him learning spells that he already has in his grimoires. And so, 
We spent a bit of coin already respecting him at level 3, and I've got a feeling we're going to be respecting him a fair bit in this campaign. So uh, that's the first of many respects, and he's instead now got Spirit Shield, because <clears throat> we're going to be looking at perhaps keeping him buffed up with protections rather than him fleeing. He's an Archmage now, and an Archmage fleeing from combat is not quite the look he's going for. So if the enemy does get too close, he shall be protected by a variety of different uh, protection spells, such as Spirit Shield and Lengraf's Displaced Image, for instance. And plus Fleet Feet, there's a much better one, this one, which also gives swift but additional action speed damage, which means he will cast spells a lot more quicker. And with stacked with Dexterity Bonus, he'll be firing all spells off like nobody's business. So, uh, yeah, that's for Doran for you. And finally, we've also got Adair, an alternative damage type, a Morning Star, just in case whatever he's attacking is immune or very resistant to Pierce. Whew, take a breather, take a breath. There we go. Right. <laughs> Onwards to Gerechi Street. As you make your way along through the side streets of Port Marge, you come upon visible traces of the storm's passing. Many of the houses here boast cracked window panes and sagging awnings, and you pass narrow streets strewn with foliage and debris. The cobblestones beneath your feet are still slick with water and silt. Before long, you are ankle deep in sucking mud and loose stones. The flooding only worsens up ahead where the water level rises to the knees. Most of Port Marge's residents have fled this region for dry land. But the murmur of raised voices ahead and the occasional splash suggest that you are not entirely alone. Oh dear. Oh dear. We are wading through uh, through uh, water here in Gretchy Street. This is uh, not promising at all. I hear you. Look at that. We actually are wading through water. Okay. Got a couple of uh, hoodlums up ahead. Let's see what's going down, shall we? Don't let them leave. We can't have witnesses. Ooh, restoring order. This is part of the. This is part of the uh, the quest. Attacked by several looters, but none of them matched Ilari's the de uh, description. Nonetheless, we shall deal with them. Right. Okay. Adair. Take control. For Doran, just attack for now. He is going to be uh, on the stance of the uh, cleaving. And she will be casting Holy Meditations. Right, so she's cast Holy Meditations, and now she's going to be casting Interdiction. Soften up the enemy. What the hell just happened? Okay, this is bad. This is very, very bad indeed. Second wind. Uh, Holy Radiance. Okay, so let's just deal with these two for now. Slicken, maybe? We had some good times. Oh my god, I think, we're go I think we are going to perish already. <laughs> this is a great start to affairs. I mean, it is not difficult, or better or whatever it is, but I uh, didn't expect to be uh, uh, taken down by a few poxy looters already. Is she casting? Is Adair? Oh, no, Adair's, Adair's not quite down yet. He's not, but he's not doing any damage, that's the only issue. Okay, that looks good. Okay, that's... Okay, that's not good. That's definitely not good. Right. Let's look in again. If we can. About there. Jesus, well, Fedor Fedor Fedoran is Fedoran is down. 
Fedoran is down. We didn't get interdiction off. Looters. Oh, Jesus. She needs to get into the fight here. Oh, he's down. Right, okay. I think we need to re redo this again. Naturally. She'll, she'll, she'll keep fighting to the bitter end, of course. Oh, a day had second chance. Completely forgot about that. Never mind. Less damage, but uh, extra accuracy when missed. That doesn't sound particularly marvelous. Yeah, we're 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 buggered basically here. Okay, it is down again. Keep fighting, love. Oh, she's down. Game over. Right. Okay. Party has died. Wow. Uh, is there a better way to do that? <clears throat> Can we separate perhaps the looters? Hey. So that they don't all attack at once. It's uh, possibly. Uh, Try that. Hey. I mean, maybe we can entice them uh -huh. to attack us sort of down here, maybe? Oh, here we go again. Come back. Sure. <clears throat> I don't think there's going to be a way to stop this from happening, but uh, we'll certainly try. Looks like. Come on. Okay, so they're still there, but they're just, they are now enemy, hostile, but they're not attacking. Looks like. Now our gun isn't got the best of range. I've, I've used a pistol. I'm using a pistol with him rather than the bow. But uh, okay, here we go. Here we go. <laughs> They're coming, they're coming, they're coming, they're coming. Oh, they're all coming still. They're still all coming, it's fine. Come forth, come forth. Oh, and here comes the uh, spellcaster. Right, interdiction. No, sorry, holy radiance. Okay. It's the spell slinger we gotta get down, really. He's he's causing the most issues. Right, frighten. Why can't we use this ability? Something's wrong with him at the minute. Crippled? Hobbled? Oh, he's got the wrong flipping weapon on, I don't believe it. <laughs> oh, no! Okay, he's down. Second chance, it's fine. He'll be up in a minute. Definitely this person that's causing the issues. Right, I've empowered 
thingy. How do you? Oh, there you go. Right. Combusting wounds. Oh, God. I think we're dead again. Third, third time's a charm, I think. Third time's a charm. I think the thing is, the, the, the ranged attackers are much more dangerous here. So if we can uh, get those down as quickly as we possibly can, we might fare a bit better. So we'll back ourselves here, maybe. Let's try again. Who's that? I got some spirit. Maybe the spirit will help us. After him. Right. After him, Z. Yeah. Let's go for an empowered fireball, uh, missiles attack there. Jyoti, get yourself up there, love. Okay, he's down, he's down. Get the range guy. Get him. Adair's cleaning up here. Let's go for a knockdown. Right, we, 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 we could be good here. We could be good if we just be... Careful. Right, let's get him. Let's get him slicking just so that he stops firing on us. Oh come on, not now, not now. We're doing much better here. Up here. I mean, we do have potions which we haven't been using yet, so. Let's see, let's, uh, let's have what we were doing here. Maybe interdiction? Nah, forget the spells. Let's just get in. Let's just get in, attack, tie up the range people. She's got two on her, which is an issue. Right, he's, so he's down. She's, oh, she's buggered. She really is buggered. Right, quick potion here. What's it, Lance? She down? Oh, for God's sake. Okay, so he's, he's actually, he's a bit injured. Arrows are doing insane damage. And is he even hitting? <sighs> oh, <laughs> we're back for more. I wonder. I mean, I mean, I'm wondering. Are we are we coming here prematurely? You know, we should we get another character? Do we get another character in Port Marjo that we might want to get before we come back here? This seems a bit extreme. 
quite difficult in fact. I'm reluctant to turn the difficulty down already. Mm -hmm. What do you need? But we really are suffering big style here. Right, what I'm gonna do, what do you need? is utilize Adair's sneak I ability. Just to get a bit a better sort of surveying of the of the situation. Wow, there's more looters here as well. There's Ilari, flanked by uh, by his bodyguards. If we can't take down these random thugs, what hope are we taking down the head honcho? I'm wondering if we can actually speak with him and not what can I do you for? actually Real quiet now. I hear you. fight these guys, you know, because didn't the woman in the uh, prison say that uh, there might be a diplomatic way to do it? Yeah. Sure she did, you know. Hang on. Because these guys are attacking us now, right? At this, at this second. They aren't attacking us. Which makes me wonder. Yeah. Can we get him to call off his yeah. thugs? Okay, this might be the way to do it. Not much cause to come out this way unless you're looking for trouble. Although you've found it. The young girl's hand drops the, uh, the pistol in his belt. Palming the grip. The faintest hint of a sneer plays about his lips as he watches you, unblinking. Uh, what are you doing here? Fedoran stalling for time whilst he thinks. Ecosi, this is my street. That doesn't change after a little rain. That storm speaker, she didn't concern herself much with this place, did she? He kicks at the water, splashing noisily. Me and my gang, we keep the peace here, and the locals pay their dues. Nothing here now but what they left behind. I see. Well, I have been sent here by the, 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 the guard in the... Uh, in the prison, uh, Savia, I think her name was, yes. Uh, she needs you to put a stop to the looting. Hm, he snorts, his nose wrinkling. He regards you for a moment longer in expectant silence. Then he throws his head back, letting out a braying, unpleasant laugh. <laughs> Merle, she must be desperate. Not so desperate as to come here on her knees to beg for herself. But she sent you. No, there's my answer. I get my cut. There's no sense in ruining a good thing. Ah, but you are being rather short-sighted here. Help her out on this occasion, and she will owe you a favour. Surely having persons in high places owing you favours can only be a benefit to you in the long run. You can cash that favour in when it benefits you most, surely. A favour? <laughs> Merle, I should buy a dinner. Maybe. Mid short, Larry brows draw together. He runs a thumb along his jaw, frowning. Done. I'll do it. Bon piaco. Can't be too bad having a commander in your pocket. Exactly. Exactly. My thoughts. Exactly. <laughs> Tell Savia this isn't permanent. Second, the water clears up and things are back to normal, we're through. I'll spread the word. Gorechi Street is under a lawful protection now. Uh, indeed, indeed. Pleasure doing business with you, uh, Mr. Alari, isn't it? Yes. Oh, well, flipping hell. Just probably that That's saved right. us from having to uh, <laughs> to fight any more of those damn thugs. Right, Gretchen Street is saved. Fedora Silver Tongue working again, far more effectively than his bloody weapon. I tell you, dear, dear, dear. Right. Okay. Sure. 
Nothing but endless grime yeast. This is not the afterlife I was promised. Hmm. And what did you expect from the afterlife? Something. Endless bounty and warmth and happiness for a start. Instead, I still feel waterlogged. Chilled down to my bones. Hmm. You seem to know where you are going. The soul crosses ethereal arms over her chest. Watcher, you're talking to a lost soul, aren't you? I'll just shine them the light real quick. The lantern rattles as Jotty swings it over zealously between you, siphoning in the spirit's essence. Oh, so she is now responsible for collecting these things, is she? Taking my job from me? Oh, well. Mm -hmm. Sure. I suppose we'll let her off. Some simple clothes. Some more simple clothes. I mean, the looters have probably picked these guys clean, save for their simple clothes. But this is a robe. Uh, okay, interesting. Hmm. How does a robe look, Mr. Fedoran, on you? I mean, the Valian clothing is nice and all, but perhaps something with a little tiny smidgen bit of protection might be useful? Oh, doesn't look too bad at all. It's very really basic and simple. Because an armor rating of three. Same as the clothing. Yeah. Whilst, whilst we're travelling around Port Marge, speaking with fellow villains, perhaps we'll stay in the older clothing. Perhaps on the road, we may switch to something a little more practical. Yeah. Got it. be wrong with my vision no matter how much I blink I, I cannot make out more than blurry lights in the darkness you you are quite blinding uh, what was the last thing you remember pain I came to help one of the traders gather her belongings then other men came they struck me over and over is that why I cannot see Hmm. Perhaps. Sorry to tell you, but you, you are dead. Come. Come with me. I shall help you. Dead? Oh, but this is terrible. Let me ease this one's pain, Watcher. <laughs> Doing uh, further work with the lantern. Shaking it around like a flippin' lunatic. Sure. Right, Gretchen Street, I think, is pretty much done then. Well, we haven't really been down here, but we can't see there'd be much to collect. To be quite frank with you, we'd be rather glad to leave this place swiftly. Do we need to report, report back? Yes, we do. Ah, we can actually go straight to d d certain buildings. That is really handy. So we don't have to actually transition to the to the map and then walk to the place. We can just go straight in. Well, that is a really nice feature. Straight in indeed. Yeah. Keeping out of trouble. A little jest. What is it? Uh, well, I'm pleased to announce... Fedoran looking rather pleased with himself, uh, that I managed to convince Ilari to keep watch on Gretchi Street. Perfetto. He's a little shitne, but a lazy one. He will not cause trouble if he does not have to. Easier to work with a familiar face for the moment. I can deal with him later. So, we have one small part of Port Marge under control. A good start. A uh, 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 start, you say, Fedoran? Uh, <laughs> Not liking the sound of this, it sounds like there's more work to be done. Well, here you are, for your time. 
<laughs> if I had ten men like you, the whole of Port Maggio would be set right within the week. Ah, oh, uh, and perhaps thanking her for handing over the 1,100 coppers and uh, swiftly exiting the building as she's probably still stumbling over her. Uh, we're not quite finished yet. Oh, oh, things to do, things to do. See you. <laughs> not wishing to be uh, confronted by any further looters anytime soon, perhaps. Right, so there we go. Um, task number one done. Gotta wait in my lantern now. Almost feel like I can hear the soul when I jostle it around. With every soul, my lantern's getting heavier and heavier in my hand. Hmm. Well, we haven't. She hasn't been sleeping recently, in our party at least, but uh, maybe. While she's been staying here before we arrived. Uh, any uh, nightmares recently? Any visions that I should be aware of? I did, recently with you. Oh, that's very strange. We haven't slept yet. <laughs> Waking nightmare, perhaps? You were walking the depths of the ocean, but you didn't drown. And in your hand, you gripped the key to Aeora's end. Her face alights with a fierceness. I've seen stars wreathing a statue's brow, and souls flowing like tears over gleaming Audra. And then my god headed into the heart of the storm, where he could find the darkness. Tell me what's on your mind. <laughs> Should you be swearing so much as a priestess? Um, what are your thoughts on Aeolthus? You talking during the Saints' War or after he died? Yeah, we'll start with the here and now, I suppose. Then you mean gone. Sure, maybe my god still answers to Aethys as well. Why not? But Aethys died, and death requires change. He ain't what he was. Not in exactly the same way. That's why I think his other aspect, his darkness in the light, is what's burning brighter in him now. Ah, I see. And, uh, well, well tell me a bit more about him uh, leading up. To the Saints Wall, then. Mm, I really only know what my folks taught me. She scratches the back of her head, hesitant. Aethys embodied Saint Widwin, but during the war, he got blown to bits. That's <laughs> the thing about human bodies. Eventually, they all gotta die. As the god of rebirth, of course, Aethys would be coming back. But where I differ from my family's view, and my high priestess's view, is that I've studied the apotheosis of Gone. And I know all about the backside, the downward swoop, the death part of the cycle of life. Abscission, rot, regrowth. What's gone can never be again. What comes back is changed. Always. Even if what comes back is a god. Hmm. No need to fiddle foot around. I'm listening. Well, that'll do for now. Thank you for the uh, information. Sure thing, Watcher. All right. So what's next on our list of things to do? Oh, that's right. Rinko. Got into a fight with Mo Keher whilst playing cards or something. He pinched, or she pinched his uh, money. Juana Village. Northwest. Hmm. Might as well go and check it out. Sato Huzi. Three hours. Having some disturbing dreams makes it hard to sleep. Ah, so here we are, this little village type area. Okay, so time is ticking. This is certainly going to be the last task of the day. We'll get this sorted, hopefully, with some more silver tongued charm, and then we can retire back to the uh, Kraken's Eye for some no supper. Perhaps a drink or two, and uh, of course that bed that we earned. Oh, 
completely forgetting about, so the old herbs. Okay. Yeah. Speaking with hey the trader. There, Amico. Welcome to the land of giants, right? I never felt quite so small. Fancy a look at the wares, my friend? Uh, you didn't happen to see uh, a fight between uh, Rinko and Makaha? Did I see it? Best night of my life. She just... <laughs> she jumps vaguely at the air, pretending to throw punches. And he was snuffed out like a candle, poor bastard. I assumed he was being his usual charming self. How he and the wife get on so well, I have no idea. Why do you ask? I just would like to know how it started. Not really. I saw the Juana woman bearing down on him, looking like trouble. They argued for a bit. His buddies were dragging him down the road not long after that. Hmm, I see. Ah. Best goods on the island. I'm looking at wares. So she's selling uh, some sandals. Very nice. <clears throat> some clothing of the local variety and some fruits of which uh, we'll probably pass and some ingredients as, as well okay nothing jumping out does just yet mm. sure so nothing like a strange tablet or a uh, yeah. why not yeah a um I'll get there eventually. A grimoire. That's the one I was, that's the one I was looking for. Yeah. Right. Uh -huh. This is the storm speaker we saw when we first arrived in Port Marge. Yeah. Seated upon a chair before the bonfire, Ikawa looks considerably more comfortable here in her home village. She prods absently at the coals with a long stick. Her face is lined, pocked with fading scars, but there's no hostility in her calm appraisal as you approach. I am told that the people of the republics have little love for their cousins in the old country. Or perhaps it is the other way. It is not so different for us. They told me what became of your ship. I say again that you are lucky. It is the only ship that survives. I could protect Port Maje, or else its ships, but not both. Perhaps Clario thinks I chose poorly. Hmm. Okay. Does it look like the storm did much damage here? To a storm speaker, the storm is a friend, gentled by a word. And Satahuzi is blessed with several storm speakers. We were able to shield the village from much of the weather. Some of it is mere luck. Most of our canoes were here by the shore. We did lose one of our voyagers. It will take some work to replace it. All right. Well, I am here because, well, we don't know the ins and outs of this just yet. So perhaps we won't bring it up. We'll perhaps talk with her once we've done our business here. No problem. Hmm? Sounds quite, uh, quite dodgy. Once we've done our business here, <laughs> yes. Hey. The chieftain's lodge. Now, is she the chiefess or chieftain? I don't think so. Yeah. Yeah. Strange weather patterns here. One minute it's sunny, next minute it's raining. Next minute it's sunny again. What's going on? Right, let's go to uh, Makeha's lodge. Let's get, uh, let's get it from the horse's mouth. The, uh, <coughs> yeah. the version of events. Oh. There's nobody home. Well, perhaps we won't be getting yeah. the version of events from the horse's mouth. Yeah. 
strange. Where is she? Okay. Of okay. Well, we'll bring up with a star speaker then. As soon as we can't do anything else at the yeah. moment. May Amira's winds blow sweet. Okay, so uh, stating that uh, okay is potentially causing trouble in Port Marge. Hmm. She sighs deeply and folds her hands in her lap. Mokeha is proud, like her father. Each day this alliance tests her patience. What has happened? Well, there's a, apparently there's a fight. She took a man's money. Uh, she just needs to return what she stole, and I'm sure that will smooth things over. Mokeha is no thief. She has all she needs here. What need has she to steal? Huh, Ikaro's tone does not brook argument. The Valians must be mistaken. Speak with her. You will see. Well, I would do if I knew where she was. She did nearly kill a man. Mokeha could have killed him, if she wished to. Is it not enough that he lives? <sighs> hmm. Fine. I shall... i uh, obviously got further work to do, and uh, perhaps I should speak with her. Return once you are certain. I will help if I can. Okay, so we have to find her, but where the flipping hell is she? Eh? Got it. She oh, 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 oh! There she is. Fits the description nicely. Oh, uh, folks, come back. <laughs> Things could get a bit dicey here. The Amara woman steps sideways, angling herself towards you, and meets your gaze with an intense stare. I do not know you. Her voice is quiet, but each word is clipped and harsh. You were looking for Kawa? No, I am looking for you. I think you are Mokea, yes. Uh, I have spoken with Rinko. It says you robbed him during a card game. Rinko? <laughs> she scoffs in a guttural burst of sound. The Valian? You jest, Akira. I should have thrown him into the sea. He dares to call me a thief? Yes, I got this impression that there was more to this than met the eye. Uh, why don't you just tell me what really happened? What else? The Valians are fools. But Akawa wishes to trade, so we must be patient. We must save them from Nagate's storms. Even when they ignore our advice. Akawa told me I should see the tavern. Speak with their people. Learn patience. The traitor, Eofania, she taught me to play Valian cards. A simple game, but none would play with me in the tavern. Not until Ringo. I thought him kind until I proved the victor and he grew angry. Until he stood in front of his kin and called me a Mataru of Sadahuzi, a filthy islander and a cheat. Okay, so she, she is part of the highest class of Hawana society. <laughs> Obviously, a uh, great insult. For that? Yes. I'd beat him. Why does this concern you? Hmm. You could have told the guards. Uh, you've been branded a thief, you know. I am no thief. Do you mean to insult me? I'm, I'm just stating what I have been told. I am Mataru. I am the guard in Sadahusi. I defend this village. If I see fit to punish a man, it is my duty. If a Valian broke Huana law, would you be satisfied with a fine levied by the governor? That, that is not the same. This has long been our island. Zoti's eyes gleam with a dark amusement. Look, let's just put this aside. He got what was coming to him. Just give me the coin purse and I'm sure it will all be smoothed over. Why should I yield to you when I did not for Rinko and his kinsmen? If you wish to make a fight of it, I am ready. I don't wish for a fight. Blunt your teeth on this if you like. If he was a man of sense, he would not be on his back. Right. We shall leave her be and now go to speak with the uh, storm speaker. Right. So we've got two two versions of events. May Amira's winds. Yes. Fedora explaining that he's tried to speak to her, but uh, unfortunately is getting nowhere. I see. What is it you wish for me to do? 
Well, we got a feeling that facing justice in Port Marge is not going to go down too well, so perhaps entrusting the Storm Speaker to deal with her accordingly. Perhaps uh, the, the people of Port Marge will be satisfied with that. Sort of a happy medium, maybe. If you wish something from Mokeha, my advice is to trade for it. Is that not how the outsiders get everything they need? What do you mean trade for it? What am I trading? Huh? We're not getting anywhere here, are we? Anywhere fast. I tire of this outside. Okay. So earlier on you admitted to beating uh, Rinko. Yes, and so? I say he earned worse, yet I was merciful. Ikawa told me I should see the tavern, speak with their people, learn patience. Oh, this is I just thought a, him for that. A repeat. Yes, I beat him. Why does this concern you? Why should I yield to you when I did not for Rinko and his kinsmen? If you <sighs> wish to make a fight of it, I am ready. Yeah, I don't think Fedora is up for. Uh... For challenging her on her own turf, a fight for the man's coin. He's now going to use that little bit of um, that little bit of deceptive quality that he has. What's the skill called? I've forgotten. It's diplomacy and bluff. A bit of the bluff skill, I think, to uh, perhaps see if she does have any kind of a compassionate side. <laughs> I, I highly doubt it, but. Uh, we could say we're under Glover, Governor Clario's authority, yes. but what we'll actually do is told me I I thought use the that. bluff to say that yes. uh, without the coin, uh, we come up with his own. You? you see a man on the street over a silly insult? Don't be foolish. Clario will see to him. This isn't how it works. The villains have to pay for their food and pay their taxes. His kinsmen would let him starve? Uh, <laughs> her, her, she's looking at us searchingly. We got to ensure we continue with this charade. Why did this not prevent him playing at cards in the first place? Are all Valians so mad for coin? Well. So then, what am I to do? I did not wish him dead. In the coin purse. It's all I've asked for all along. You, as I said, have given the man a beating, shamed him in front of his friends and his peers. I'm sure you don't need these coins. As I have explained, he does. Um, then here is what you came for, though it is an uneven trade. She considers a coin purse in her hand for a moment before handing it to you. Her mouth twists into a resentful frown. And once again, for Doran works his magic. I will ask our chieftain to send a healer for that idiot Valian. Perhaps that will quiet his whimpering. I thank you very much, Mokair, for your reason. Ah, very good. Thank you for nothing, yeah. Storm Caller, or whatever the hell you call yourself. Uh, we'll just pop into the Chieftain's Lodge while we're here, see if there's anything to uh, mm. to do. Any sort of uh, tasks to pick up? Maybe we can raise our authority and our standing with these people as well as the people of Port Marge. Uh, it might be. Nah, I think it might. I think this might be um, yeah. the Storm Caller's actually uh, abode. <laughs> And uh, she's already proved her useful, uh, her, her uselessness, rather, in the matters that we came for. So uh, we'll we'll leave these people be for now. Thank you, thank you for nothing, and uh, we shall be leaving you. As a fellow Valian, we can't help but feel that these people have a slight hostility towards us. We shan't be outstaying our welcome. Right. So once again back to Port Marge, and we will now go straight to Rinko's home to give him the good news and the coin purse and hopefully also tell him to keep his mouth shut in future when dealing with the Huana. Most days I'd fire up the kettle for you or something. Sorry. <sighs> I spoke to Makaya, by the way, and she did claim that uh, she won the card game 
fair and square, and you insulted her. A surprise! The brute speaks! And you have survived the conversation in one piece. Merle. Perhaps my tongue was loosened by drink. What of it? Is any man who insults the savage's pride due a beating? The law is on my side. Hmm. The more we think about it, the more we are kind of con <laughs> kind of regretting the fact that we uh, got this man his money. Uh, <clears throat> Do you know what? I'm going to insist you confess. Confess to Damo the truth of the matter. Or spend the rest of your sorry life eating so nothing but soup. I don't think we'll put it like that, but perhaps impressing upon him that uh, should he not choose to do so, things might not end so well for him. And leaving it open to interpretation. Hm. Rinko stares up at you, his eyes wide, his hands gripped tightly at the sheets. It is not enough that she has ruined me. Now you threaten me in my home. Please, for the sake of my son, I will tell the guards the truth. I swear it. Ah, good. I must hope that Clario's dogs will be more merciful than you. Burning bridges. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. So she has returned the coin purse. We have convinced Rinko to leave her alone and confess what truly happened to the authorities. And somehow in this whole charade, Fedoran has got to keep the coin purse. Well, for being piggy in the middle, call it a just reward. Although it doesn't seem to be here. Did we actually give him the coin purse back? Is the coin purse a inventory item? Rinko's coin purse. Take the money. <gasps> oh wow. Rinko's empty coin purse. Fedoran, you dark. Is that going to influence our disposition? I don't think so. Oh well. <laughs> what can you do? Hmm? Right. Got it. All in all, I think that's a positive outcome. In the grand scheme of things, I yeah, broken a kind of a kind of a peace between the two people. She's sending healers. Um and he's uh, confessing. Um things might break down when you know, Michaela gets Michaela gets word that uh, we didn't return the coin purse. And perhaps we weren't quite so truthful in our assessment of him losing his home. But, uh, oh well, sometimes a bit of bluff can work wonders, you know. Sure. Right, it's to the inn to uh, rest up, have some supper. And in the morning, there's more work to be done. Just what work that is, we'll find out in the next session. So until then, see you soon.